Good morning guys, so it's a Saturday and I've just finished packing all of my gear. I'm filming a wedding today, you can probably figure that out judging by what I'm wearing. I wear this same outfit to every wedding I film because most of my dressy clothes are in storage and I can't get to them at the moment. So uh, yeah, this is what I'm wearing pretty much every wedding. It's gonna be a hot day. It's gonna be 37 degrees today and we're filming an outdoor wedding on a children's farm, which great concept. I'm just hoping. We all survived the last outdoor wedding I filmed. It was 36 degrees and my camera actually overheated. After about 40 minutes into the ceremony, it just stopped working due to the heat. Fortunately, we had three other cameras going. Uh, and today we're bringing a few other cameras as well. So I'm bringing a backup camera with me and then BJ is gonna have a few cameras too. So I'm here with BJ and we're shooting a wedding today at the Collingwood Children's Farm. It is a 37 degree day, but not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Hot. It's got a really nice breeze while under this tree. It's gonna be beautiful. DJ, you got me looking like Indiana Jones over yeah. here. Let's do it. I never wear fedoras. Let me know if I suit them. Need it for the heat today, but I feel like I kind of suit this. Is the union of two people the exclusion of all others voluntarily entered into for life? Alright, just finished filming the ceremony and wow, they set this up really quick. I don't know if I got any shots earlier, I think I might have, but this just looked like a regular bar this morning and now it looks absolutely amazing. They've really decked it all out. I just want to stand in front of this fan. It was amazing. I don't know if I mentioned it's 37 degrees today. Unfortunately, my camera didn't know the heat. On your heels when you use your ankles. So go your heels, toes. You look silly, but it makes it a bit smoother. What happens when that big boulder comes chasing you? The boulder? In the oh, bro, this is your hat. Why are you making <laughs> jokes? Yeah. I'm actually, I like it. I'm gonna buy one. 100%, mate. never believe that we're so close to the city. The drone's literally right there. This guy's so cool. So I actually used to shoot weddings with BJ back in the day. How long has it been since we shot weddings together? Eight years, mate. It's been a minute. You've been going strong with it ever since. Damn straight. Good working with you again, bro. Likewise, man, likewise. Always a pleasure. Good morning, guys. So it's seven in the morning. I've got a brand deal, second brand deal in a week. So I'm really excited, but I'm running late. So uh, I left at 7 a.m. to be somewhere at 9 a.m. thinking, yeah, plenty of time. Just being stuck at a standstill forever. I think I'm gonna be running late. The map is telling me that I'll be there 10 minutes early. Fingers crossed, it's right. Let's see how we go. Waze did not steer me wrong. It is 8.50, so I got here literally 10 minutes early, so I'm at a place called Water Gardens Shopping Center. They're opening a new precinct today. So I'm just filming a little reel about that. Probably won't vlog much because I'm 
filming mainly vertical stuff, but yeah, I'm excited. Actually, I really love this shopping center. Um, I used to date someone back in the day who lived close to here, so I used to spend a lot of time here. They have a lot of really nice restaurants, and yeah, it's a great shopping center, so I'm happy to be here. We've only just begun. An excellent choice. So I've got most of the content that I need. There was a girl working in Rebel Sport who also does content creation and she saw me filming myself and offered to help so she ended up going around the store with me which made my day a whole yeah. lot easier. Honestly sometimes I do feel really weird and awkward filming myself. It is easier when someone else is doing it for you. What's up guys? Today I visited Water Gardens for the launch of their brand new shopping precinct. There's all sorts of new stores like Rebel Sport, EB Games, TK Maxx, Cotton On and more. They even have this cool interactive drum set that your kids will absolutely love. Speaking of kids, Zoe would love this tea, Ava's obsessed with anything squishy and me, I need some new clothes. I love these loose fitting Nike pants and these Hoka running shoes are so light and comfy. Oh, and before I go, you've got to see this indoor basketball court they have in the middle of the store. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you're all having a great day. Honestly, I find it pretty hard to multitask vlogging and working at the same time. So when I'm at jobs, I don't really vlog a lot. So that's why that these vlogs are a little bit all over the place. Also, I don't like to put brides and grooms in the videos unless they're aware of the fact that i'm a youtuber and you know they they say that it's okay that's why i never show the brides and grooms when i'm filming weddings but it's yeah it's so much fun doing that stuff again it's great working with bj again we always have a lot of fun when we shoot and we used to back in the day as well this is my second uh wedding working with him again so that's been great um if you like this video i'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up leave a comment, let me know how you're doing. And also just a, a quick little uh, PSA. I've mentioned this before, but I've noticed it, it's been happening again and I try and delete as many of these comments and block as many of these people as I can, but they keep coming back, especially since I've been talking about some of the stuff that's going on in my life. So I just wanna reiterate if somebody ever leaves a comment on one of the comments you've made on YouTube and they've got a picture of me, they look like they're me and they're telling you to reach out to them on WhatsApp, Telegram, anywhere like that, do not respond. I will never ask somebody to message me on WhatsApp or Telegram. These are scammers. They're trying to get money out of you guys and I just want to, you know, yeah, reiterate, I would never want to hear of anybody getting scammed from watching one of my videos. This is something that happens a lot on YouTube and they really need to crack down on it more because it is frustrating. People have shown me some of the messages that they send. One of the common scams is they'll tell people that they've won an iPhone or something like that. They'll ask for their details and then they'll tell them that all they have to do is pay for postage. And then if that person sends the money to them for postage of the iPad or iPhone or whatever, obviously they never get it so just be on the lookout for that sort of stuff i block these people as much as i can but they keep creating new accounts and the same goes for any other youtube channels that you're watching and somebody asks you to reach out to them via whatsapp or in uh yeah telegram and even instagram there's been a few instagram scams go on lately where people make up fake accounts with my name and then they go through my list of followers and follow people who are following me and they message them and say that this is my backup account which is a pretty obvious scam but i have had a few people message me and ask if this is legit it never is i only have one instagram account so be on the lookout for that guys because i don't want to hear of anybody getting scammed